Yo, YouTube family. Vlad TV just gave a phenomenal, probably his fourth interview with Tony Yayo. It's been phenomenal. Tony Yayo been perfect for this. He's been reacting in a good way, explaining how he feel about certain situations. You feel what I'm saying? It's been cool to see the people we looked up to in rap or the music we listen to, sometimes just the street sides of them. And it's to see how open they are and transparent and explaining themselves. Tony Yayo is going to talk about the PNB rock killing and his personal, you know, situation. He's going to talk about how every LA rapper is a target. I'm not going to play the whole interview. It's a six minute and 38 seconds interview. We'll probably play two minutes worth or a minute and 50, you know, something like that. Because I respect what DJ Vlad do. You know, it's not easy to get these messages and all that. So we're going to do it the right way. Salute to the kings and the queens. Let's get this thing going. Before we even play it, I need y'all to hit that notification bell. Hit the like button. And don't just hit the notification bell. Click on all devices so you don't miss no important updates, especially dealing with this PNB Rock situation. And I'm going to give my commentary at the end after I show the highlight of this video. Salute to Tony Yayo. Salute to Vlad TV. Rest in peace to PNB Rock. Yeah, Passport Boys in the building. You see what's going on out there. From LA to Emmys, I was around. I come back with a whole bunch of treats. You know what I'm saying? And just coming back from the Emmys, you know what I mean? And rest in peace to um, PNB Rock. He had, you know, he had a song with 50, Crazy. Okay, yeah, I didn't yeah. Know that. I feel like, yeah, PNB Rock was on that. Rest in peace to him. He worked with 50. Did you know him at all? Um, I think I met him maybe once, you know, but I know he had the song with 50. Mm -hmm. And he was a dope artist, you know, on the come up. Times where everywhere is dangerous. LA, dangerous. Atlanta, dangerous. New York, dangerous. Chicago, dangerous. Sometimes you just post and you don't really think about it. Right, well it was actually tagged Roscoe's on the actual, you know how they post a story I mean, and it says do, where, where it is? People do it all the time. No, it's, it's, it's messed up. You know what I'm saying? But if you didn't get to that car in time, that nigga hit the gas on you. <laughs> like till this day, I don't walk to my car fast or nothing because yo bro, Nobody's exempt from nothing. You ain't see the feds run up in Trump crib, right? Right. Where, where motherfuckers gonna be like, Merry Christmas. Right. You know? Cause that's how a nigga in the street think when they see this shit. Merry Christmas. And it's like, as a rapper, you, you know, you gotta get this shit, it's nice shit. But you know what I'm saying? You gotta be in the down with a nigga like 50. Bro, we all had, we a watch. Fifth told me, beware, you know a nigga blow your head off for that. And that's on my father. My first Jacob coming home. Yeah. And like I said, he put me in position where I wasn't living in the hood. I lived in Battery Park. I seen the Statue of Liberty. Salute to Vlad TV. Salute to Tony Yayo. Y'all go look at the full interview of that. He really said way more than what he said, but I want to respect content creators. You feel me? I don't want to do too much. I know these type of exclusive interviews, it takes a lot to get in. I respect the crap. I respect the game. Now, what do y'all feel about it? Do you think Tony Yayo was nonchalant or was he speaking truth? Almost every real person who spoke on this PNB Rock situation, they, they're telling you the same thing. Y'all might get annoyed that, damn, they're all saying the same thing. Well, what else do you want them to say? You want them to lie to you? You want them to tell you everything is going to be all right? I mean, tell me, what do you want them to say to you, man? This is the situation and how things roll. This is how it is. It just is. We don't make the rules. We don't create the rules. Life has a mysterious way in how it works. And unfortunately, we're in a situation where people don't allow you to live a normal life. They taking you out. For anything you do out here, people are literally taking you out. Your life is on the line everywhere you move, everywhere you go. And if you don't understand that, you really do get lost in the wind. And when I say lost in the wind, I'm trying to tell you, man, lost in the wind for days, even if you break. I ain't trying to rhyme. I ain't trying to spit bars. I'm speaking knowledge and life. The hip hop preachers, what they told me. But, you know, besides all that, it feels good getting that title. But... All of y'all some preachers. We're all preachers. A preacher is just somebody who speak what it is out here and you try your best to take your own advice. That's the problem. We all know what to do. We all know what how to move, but we don't take our own advice in life. And now it puts us in a situation where we just dwindle down and we cost ourselves part of this game. And the game is to win, it's not to lose.
And that's the problem. Too many people losing out here and the circumstances is getting worse out here. Now it doesn't matter if it's broad daylight, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Like Tony Ayo said, if somebody sees you with that chain on or whatever, it's like Merry Christmas. Especially if I have to up on you, especially if you have a name out here, it's even worse for you. Worse for us, including me. You don't know who got the drop on you, who got what intentions. You don't know if they just cool, they like what you do, and they want to give some love. So you can't even be friendly even when you want to. And not that you want to be friendly or not. It's just part of the game, bro. I ain't trying to take that chance, bro. I'll be a cool dude with you and all that. But I still got to be on my P's and Q's. PMB Rock forgot for a little bit who he was and what's going on out here. People are trying to kill for anything and nobody wins. That person act like when they do whatever they do to you, they're not going to really care. But in reality, they kind of somewhat. But let's just be real. Some dudes really out here don't really give a damn. They'll kill you at 1 p.m. and be eating some breakfast at 2 p.m. Yes, late in the afternoon eating breakfast, playing video games like nothing just happened an hour ago. Some of them, it don't even bother them at all. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? It's a lot of situations like that gotta pay attention to it you gotta keep your head on the swivel like i said man living this life ain't been fun to live it the way we live it because you gotta do it daily like that and it's, it's it's unfortunate man truthfully we understand this already we know it already we know how all the get downs go around let's not mistake this for something uncommon we know how it goes right so with that being said man always keep your head on the swivel always pay attention it's good to be 10 toes down, but not when you're not around anymore. Now they done got you out the way. You dead and gone, homie. We need to knock this off. Advice, whether it's coming from someone you don't like them or not. Advice, if it can be utilized in your life in any way, shape, or form. You should take that. And it should behoove you to understand that it's not about friendship or not. It's about taking any medicine out there and ingredients out there to make the perfect stew pot out here because if your stew pot is good can't nobody get past you or cross you and that's the way it needs to be when you're crossing that street even if you look both ways you still can get hit that's what parents forget to teach folks out here even if you look both ways before you cross them streets you still can get hit it's unpredictable it just comes and goes gotta have your spider-man senses on it sounds like a headache and hard work but ain't your life worth a headache and hard work to make sure you take the necessary steps so you don't miss or skip a beat i mean i'm just saying man would, would you rather be called a cow i mean scary um scary afraid dude or would you would you rather hear people call your name with a rest in peace to go along with it i think i'll choose the one you think i'm a coward when i'm really not I'm really playing this smart and i'm moving right out here righteously it's the art of war for real in real life i suggest you guys go get a copy of that book it's gonna it's gonna save your life and unfortunately i can't promise you we'll be here today or here tomorrow i can just tell you the right things let me knock on wood for me tragedy after tragedy is too much shout out to vlad tv and tony yayo for a great interview I hope y'all hit that like button, that notification bell. Rock with your guy, DJ Bless, one in the iSmoke Hip Hop Live platform. We're for the people. We're only for the people. We don't judge nobody over here. It's a place y'all can rock out. No matter which part of the communities you fall in, whether it's the killers, the business people, civilians, whether it's drug dealers or anybody, I'm not out here to be morally higher than anybody. I'm just here to give game wisdom if you want it. And if you don't need it, we can also entertain with the music we do here, the verses challenge we do here, artists speaking to each other, all that type of stuff we do here. Blessing to the kings and the queens once again. I'm DJ Bless One. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed.